What's up guys? So I was talking about walking away, but now I'm going to talk about standing up for yourself and why it seems like you're not allowed to at all once you reach a certain age. Like, especially at work. It seems like you're not even allowed to stand up for yourself with a fucking coworker or boss because they say it's the wrong thing to do. They say you're the uh, aggressor, you know what I mean? They think you're at the wrong too and you didn't do nothing wrong. You're just standing up for yourself for what's going on, you know what I mean? And then you stand up for yourself against some fucking asshole at work and they just call you sensitive, <laughs> you know what I mean? All because you're standing up for yourself and you don't like something about them they're they're being toxic to you they're being passive aggressive or you stand up to to your parents and they think you're wrong because you're the child you're not the parent you know what i mean so they just think that's standing up for yourself at a certain age like when you're an adult it's like you're not allowed to do that <laughs> you know what i mean and people say stand up for yourself do this and that and then people do stand up for themselves and then you're all of a sudden in the wrong, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Like they just say you're soft, they say you're this and that. Like how? You're you're saying how you feel. You you don't you're not holding that shit in. You're you're like saying it for how it is and you're not getting hurt anymore mentally or physically, you're standing up for yourself, you know? Just can't stand with this society with, it's like you can't do anything, you know? You can't walk away, you can't stand up for yourself. You can't do shit, you know? <laughs> That's the thing, like these normies at school, these normies like, at work or these normies like that your roommates with just want you to react they just want you to react to the point where you go like ape shit and they will just say it's fucking your fault because you reacted when you started it you're the initi you initiated the problem you know and it's bullshit it's like you can't stand up for yourself in this fucking world it's like they pick and choose who can stand up for themselves and certain people can, you know what I mean? That's like me at work, for example. Like, if someone treats me like shit nowadays, I really don't care. I'm going to say something to that person. Like, just at my last pool job, I really don't care. Like, I'm going to say something, and I'm not going to, like, let myself boggle in my head and make me react like I did in these past jobs over the years. You know what I mean? I ain't allowing that shit to happen. You know? But yeah, it's just like you, you can't stand up for yourself. People just say you just gotta ignore the person. That is the wrong thing to do. You gotta, like, stand up for yourself assertively against these people. You can't hold that shit in. You can't let them attack you. It's like you are putting your hands up like this and someone fucking stabs you like that. And you're fucking absorbing it. You know what I mean? It's just bullshit. You gotta say something. If it gets to the point where you have to fist fight, you might have to, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes you might have to do shit like that. It's ridiculous. Like, it's crazy. Especially when you when someone has a lot of money too. Someone will be praised more when you have more money, so like when you stand yourself you try to stand up for yourself against a person like that, it's, it's literally hard, like, you know what I mean? Because they have more money than you, they can take advantage of that money and make it seem they're the innocent one when they're not, you know. Like seriously. There's a thing with, like, false rape accusation, man, I may make a video on that. Like, as a guy, like, be harder to stand up for yourself from that, because that's a thing with women. Like, it happens to a lot of them. They get raped, and that shit's fucked up, too. I don't want that shit to happen to any woman, but 
having false accusations isn't right either. <laughs> you know, it'll be hard to stand up for yourself because people praise the woman all the time. You know, <laughs> I'm not trying to be misogynistic here. Like it just, it just seems that way. It seems like society is run by women. It seems like, and the man doesn't seem like has any right to like stand up for themselves. You know. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Standing yourself up to your parents, and you just feel like you can't do anything because they're, they, they fucking feed you, they do this and that, but they think their behavior is acceptable, you know what I mean? And it isn't. And they put you down and all that, and you stand up for yourself, and you're in the wrong, <laughs> you know? They say condescending things to you about, like, be grateful and, uh, Look at me, I work my ass off to provide for you. You know what I mean? Even if they, like, physically abused you or really emotionally abused you, sexually abused you in some way, they'll still say shit like that, you know? It's like you can't stand up for yourself in this world. That's why it's best to just keep to yourself and try not fucking get involved with that many people because the more people you're involved with, the more drama you're gonna get and bullshit. And that's that's another thing too. It's like you can't even keep to yourself either. Especially at these jobs, like you can't even do that because they'll sense something in you. They say, "Oh, you're not por playing the pol politic game at work." <laughs> then you have to stand up for yourself, and that seems like you're, you can't. <laughs> it's pathetic, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Alright. Keep. I'll do another video.